Hi there, I'm Paulie and welcome to my DIY tube or valve distortion pedal build. Uh, the pedal is going to be based on this preamp that I built about two years ago. Uh, let's have a look inside. It's built using two 12AX7s here. Well, they're underneath the uh, they're underneath the shielding there, um, and it's all point to point wired and everything else. Uh, input, output, gain, high end gain, which allows me to have a vintagey kind of sound or a moderny kind of sound, um, and a output volume control. Just a quick overview of what's going on here. We've got the valves there, as I mentioned before, 212AX7s, um, the bulk of the circuitry, um, the capacitor bank for the high voltage, um, and the power supply for the high voltage. Um, this is the low voltage part of it that supplies the heaters. It's 12.6 volts, and then you've got a 16.5 volt. AC plug pack and that's about it so uh, I'll give you a quick demo of what it sounds like so hopefully it'll give us a clue as to what our distortion pedal will sound like when we build it I'm playing through a an Ash Stratocaster uh, with um, a humbucker and two single coils and we're on the humbucker at the moment so uh, Let's have a look at what it sounds like. Oh, and the amplifier is a stereo PA amp. It's solid state. And the speakers are 2x Celestian Vintage 30s. That's clean. Okay, this should be our vintage sound. The high end gain's cranked down. That was mildly distorted, and we'll turn our high end gain up to about halfway. Should give us more of a modern vibe. Crank that high end gain up, crank the general gain up. So let's take a look at uh, what I intend to build the, uh, the pedal into. This is what I plan on building the pedal into. It's a, it's a box, it's, it's a little bit higher than the, uh, than the box that the preamp's built in. Uh, but it's also a little bit narrower and it's a tiny bit wider. So I, I think I can get it to fit in there. So let's have a look at what I've got so far. Uh, I've got a couple of um, Electro Harmonics 12AX7s. 
a couple of those shielded uh, tube sockets uh, just a bag of goodies with the seal and everything in it a transformer which it's only going to fit probably this way maybe I could find something a bit smaller and a couple of sockets so the next thing I'll be doing uh, is sorting out a layout for everything and uh, that'll be the next video that I do I'll uh, show you where I'm up to with it hopefully I won't have to do too many episodes but anyway we'll see how we go have a good day